at the Young Guns, Mount Royal, U McGill, out of Canada. The lace them up against the seasoned vets out of Slovenia. Team Piran. Adim Kadgets. Anze Strebo. Gaspar Ognik. And Simon Finsgar. They won the Slovenian quest. That's how they qualified to, uh, to lace them up here in Doha. Shout out Coach Matic. What's up, Coach? Piran, one of, one of your more decorated teams. These four have uh, represented Slovenia national competition to won silver in 2017 at the Europe Cup, bronze in 2018, also a bronze at the 2016 and 18 World Cup, not to mention gold at the 2016 Europe Cup. They got uh, two wins on the world tour. They won the Lausanne Masters in 2014, Chengdu Masters in 2017. So they'll be looking for that third win coming up. But uh, these young guns, you just saw the squad from uh, Mount Royal with Avery, uh, Kadogan, Noah, Doust, Jamal, Mayali, and Daniel Piper. Their oldest player is Doust at 24. But uh, they got the youth on their side. We'll see if that has any bearings in this game. But uh, each one of the, the members of this uh, Mount Royal squad making their first ever appearance. So will it be youth or experience in uh, this fourth game of the day? The whole call on Buko. Teacher guarding up top. Turnover. Strong defense from Team Piran. I asked. Uh, I asked Gasper Ognik yesterday. I said, "Have y'all done anything different with your training regiment? Uh, you know, this off season." He says, "Yeah." We did something different. We didn't do very much at all. We relaxed. <laughs> they, they put in work this offseason. I was checking out the Instagram account. Uh, he's just trying to he's just trying to throw me off a little bit. But listen, as you get a little older in age, you gotta let those muscles heal up a little bit more. Meantime, the easy bucket on the back door. Mayali laying it in. Again, I mentioned the Mount Royal U McGill. They uh, they won the FISU League Final. Finished. Well, they didn't win it. They finished second, and that's what locked them uh, down a spot here. But uh, speaking of Canada, Canadians, well, Montreal will be on the tour this year. That's one of two Canadian stops. Saskatoon. As uh, really 3x3, man, the, the game is is really growing, and that's worldwide. I mean, we're seeing more and more uh, tournaments popping up, and the, the interest level rising as we approach the Olympics in Asia. Uh, Europe has been popular for for, for quite some time, but uh, good to see the game expanding, elevate, leveling up. It's a 2-0 game as Piran still looking for their first score. Only a minute into this one. This is game four on the day. Twelve of the best teams from around the world lacing them up here in Doha. Off Nick, the teacher, classes in session, bounce pass 101. Rush, rush shot underneath. Douse, wish he had that one back. Ogden, oh, he got to his spot, but it's blocked by Piper. Another look at the pass. Nice connection from the youngsters. I thought uh, Kadogan might throw that down. Instead, he just gave us a strong layup. Ogden recovers it. Got the ball up. 
I thought he did. Shot clock violation is called. Let's see if uh, Stays white ball. Vince Gar. Call for the foul. The Sphinx, 39 years old. I think he just had a birthday. Ranked number one in Slovenia. How is he in the same shape as a 23-year-old Avery Kadogan? How? How, Sway? How? It's because he stays in the gym. Free throws made. Fensgar couldn't knock it down from the corner. Kadogan couldn't hit his. Pull up. Uh. These goals ain't loyal. At least so far. 3 1. Oh, Kavga, I see you. As he sees the Sphinx slip into the rim for the easy score. Offensive foul call. So three fouls so far on Piran, two on Mount Royal. Quick entry down to Buko, and he is a, a bull. Straight ball. He is stronger than absent. And he's going to shoot a couple of free throws. 27-year-old. He's the youthful member of this Piran team. Clear lane to the bucket. Nice composure there. Using the body to get that bucket from Piper. Ovnik missed it. Easy look. That one swatted out. That was a volleyball swat from the big fella. Douse, now he's setting up. Working on Kavga. Uh, Give him a one piece. One legged fadeaway. Kavga. Let me show you. Let me show you how I do this. You get one, I'll take two. 5-4 game, what a pass. The young gun showing some skill. Piper with the feed. Now Kavka, oh, Shrey Bolt defended well. Good look, straight on top of the key. Douse couldn't get it to go. 6-4 game, we just saw Riga upset. By uh, Belanga Chooks to go. And Mount Royal, U McGill with a two point advantage early on Piran, looking to do some upsetting themselves. We'll see. Want to recognize our founding partner, Nike, our global sponsor, Wilson. Also, our official timekeeper, Tiso. They helped make, uh, make all this happen. 3x3. Season 8. You need to be binge watching our season 8. <laughs> oh, nice pass. I don't know. If, there are very few teams that can move the ball like Pirande. Novi side is in the conversation. Team Amsterdam is another team that you think about when it comes to the perennial great passing teams. But it really opens up their game and you know kind of makes up for some of the lack of athleticism they may have with uh, Kavga and the teacher. Oh. Soft touch on the pull up. Oh, speaking of soft touch, Avni, he's got reservations for two. Seven to six ball game. Trey Bolt, 
the Sphinx, drive kick, the teacher. No. Oh, nice seal. That's that's an old school move. You ain't gonna see a 23-year-old pull off the move that uh, that Obnick just pulled off. Obnick up fake, drive, dropped it off. Trey Bolt will shoot one. So they find ways to create plays, and they're always looking for the easiest bucket they can get. I say it all the time. You see, teams have more success when they let the ball do the work for them, as opposed to trying to to create in isolation individually. You get that ball movement moving, and you'll see the results. There's the result after the missed free throw. Stray Bolt following his own miss, put it up and in to give Piran a one-point advantage. Up fake, got the Sphinx in the air, and then Kavga. Did he do that on purpose? He just threw it right off of Noah Dowson's dome piece. And Dowson's the one that's whistled for the <laughs> whistle for the technical because he was defending in the restricted area. It was the second warning. And again, after a made bucket, you cannot defend in the semicircle underneath the basket. You get one warning, and then you get a technical. So ball in possession to Team Pidon. It's been a back and forth battle, swinging back and forth. I mean, he didn't even have to do a no look there. Now he's just showing off. The Sphinx to Kavka. 10 8. Get up, up, hold it down. Back to work. Team McGill. Putting a lot of the pressure on uh, Dowson to get it done offensively. Piper able to convert. Shrey Bolt missed it right at the rim. Now Piper to Douse. Douse back to Piper. Piper. Fade away, no. Adib, oh, look at it. They playing hot potato with it. Easy bucket. Kavka, Obnick, straight ball. Bucket. 11 9. That's how they do it. I ain't even got to talk about the passion. It speaks for itself. Oh. Contact there. And Obnick. Sticking to him like a spray tan. Who says the old dudes can't move? Kavgic, Obnik, oh, left his feet. Nadine, over to Obnik, missed it. Tipped away. Mount Royal come out with it. Stops on the dime, but the Sphinx wasn't having it. He swats it away, and then and the Dean called for three in the key. Also, just a reminder to all the shooters participating in the FIBA 3X3 World Tour Dog 2019 shootout competition. Please get ready as it's coming up next. So all shooters participating in the shootout competition qualifiers. So 11 and 9, uh, under four minutes to play. Pool D action. After this one, we'll uh, we'll have our shootout qualification before we get back to business. Pool A business. Oh, good drive. Wasn't the finish that he hoped for. The Sphinx getting to the middle of the paint. A couple of up fakes. Misses. Recovers his own rebound. Got it again. So Fitzgar padding his rebound stats. Couldn't cap it off with a bucket. But Obnick would do it for him. 
Splashing like a bird bath. 13 9. Have a look at the foul. The, the, the Sphinx sound, he flopped, man. I don't know, Simon. That, that, that was a little bit of contact there, my friend. Four point cushion. Mount Royal. A couple of possessions away. But again, they'll be keeping an eye on the clock. Look, they fell asleep yet again. Another slip work to perfection. Straight bolt. Beat to the rim, though. Kavka, he was open all day long. Didn't touch any iron. Optic up fake. Foul called on white. Number six, no more to give. The Sphinx, how did he even see to make that pass? That was a no look of a different variety. The wraparound sets up Trey Bolt to shoot two free throws. Trey Bolt kicking himself because he, he could have had a three point play. Stady's going to shoot two. 15 to 10. Pending this next free throw. And the second free throw is good. 16 10 game. So Pidon with a little bit more cushion. Good defense. Oh, nearly better offense. They come up empty. There's that beautiful passing from Team Pidon again. They pass so much, even when they ain't passing, it looks like a pass. That air ball leads to a bucket. 17-10 game. Oh, nice turnaround. Good elevation on the shot. Kato guy. Kavka. Taste the rainbow. 19-11. Oh. So fighting fire with fire now. Kato guy gets his two-piece to go, but still six-point game. And that's just that's just unfair. Just Kavka. Bench pressing. Young Mayali down here. Mayali looking for two. Couldn't hit it. After the up fake, Mayali. He's fouled by Shrebo. That's on the floor. Foul number six on Peter. Minute and a half to play. They got game point though. To miss Pinon. Vince Gar looking for 22. And he's got it. 22 to 13 officially is how it ends. So the Slovenians get past Mount Royal U McGill.